to take honey off of this hive today and I'm going to use uh, a chemical and this chemical is called honey robber. It's a chemical that dr the bees do not like the odor. It smells like vomit and it uh, it drives them down. It doesn't hurt them at all. Just they don't, they, it repels them and they move down uh, away from the odor. So what we use to do it with is the honey robber and also this is a solar fume board. The black on top here gets it warm inside and this is a felt backed uh, covering that we're going to put the honey robber on and the solar, the heat of this, vaporizes the chemical and um, spreads it through the colony, through the top of the colony and it drives the bees down. Uh, this doesn't work when it starts getting cold, it doesn't work very well or if there's brood present inside the colony where the honey is, the bees will not leave the brood. So it doesn't work well in that circumstance. But in general, it works very well to pull the honey off. Once I put the chemical on, it takes about seven minutes approximately for it, it to drive the bees out of the first super. So we'll take off, then what we'll do is we'll take off one super, put it uh, down here on this pallet, we'll cover it with the screen to stop robbing. We'll put the, this back on and it t then by then it's a, it starts working a little faster. And the trick with honey robber, the warmer it is, the better it works. If it's 85 degrees out on a sunny day, it really works good. It drives the bees out. You, there is not a bee in the super. If it's 65 degrees, it does not work as good. So all you do to use this, and I do not use smoke on top, because I don't want the bees eating the honey that, that stops them from uh, moving down. So I won't use any smoke. So all I do is just take this and I make a double X. Just a thin stream. I'll give it a little bit extra because it's uh, this is the nozzle's a little uh, the nozzle's a little thin, a, too thin of a stream. But we make sure that it's not dripping at all because we don't want to drip it on the frames. We just gently take the covers off when you aren't using smoke. And you can see it's all covered with bees here. We'll leave that on and we'll come back in about uh, seven minutes and see how it's doing. Well, it's been about seven minutes or so since I put this on and it is pretty warm out today. It's in the low 80s, so this is working pretty good. If you're doing multiple colonies, it's nice to have one to five clean, uh, solar fume boards with you just because the um, it, you'll be, keep you busy going all along by spreading them out on many colonies and uh, um, if it's colder out cooler out you'd run more fume boards and if it's warmer out you'd run less so we're going to check this one out right now now you can see that all the bees have left the top here we'll pull this off pull out a frame one errant bee but you can see that it, it really does work very good for t driving the bees out of the frames now when you take this when you take it off you want to put a screen on to get stop the bees from robbing it because they'll be right on it already and then you just Put your fume board back on and repeat the process. And then just keep adding, adding to the supers, putting the screen on top, taking off the last one, put the cover on, and then go to your next colony. Or if you're using multiple colonies, just check one, take the super off, put it on the air, check another one, and just keep moving methodically right down the row.
But this does work pretty good. It's very cost effective and uh, it does make, uh, make the job of pulling your honey supers um, quite easy. And that's all there is to it for uh, pulling uh, honey using a solar fume board and honey robber.